Every photon that reaches our telescopes has made an epic journey through space and time. Thanks to highly sensitive measuring devices such as the James Webb Space Telescope, we can now finally see the true extent of the universe. Scientists are shocked by what they see in the depths of space, which is becoming increasingly mysterious. Huge structures, countless objects such as galaxies, stars, and luminous cosmic nebulae tell us a story that we still do not fully understand. These days we are looking further into space than ever before, but what we see is not what we expected. Instead of answers, we find dozens of new questions. Instead of a boundary, we find never-ending spaces of creation. The question remains, why does this universe really exist? How big is it, and what is our role in it? Stephen Hawking once said, the universe didn't need God's help to exist. Does everything exist because God created it? Perhaps he created it simply for us to enjoy and explore its glory. The brilliant physicist Stephen Hawking thought that God was not needed to make all this possible. For him, the universe was a fascinating thing that creates and sustains itself. However, he left open the question of whether it is controlled by an intelligence beyond our imagination. The universe is so beautiful, so rich, so incredible and precise. It cannot happen by accident. Until now, scientists thought that this topic can be approached with mathematical formulas and calculations and describe everything down to the smallest details. But this universe continues to blow science away. It shocks us and pushes us to the limit of what we can understand with our mind and thoughts. Centuries ago, people faced the collapse of their old worldview and spiritual worldview. They had to understand that the Earth is a round sphere floating in space. It's like that again today. We must realize that we may never be able to explore the limits within which we live. We cannot say for sure whether the universe was created or why. We can only observe, wonder, and try to understand what we see. Did you know that light tells the story of this cosmos? Only through light can we see something, experience it, measure it, and try to learn something from it. Light travels through space at the fastest and most uniform speed. Today, the observation mirrors of our telescopes are illuminated by light that began its journey in the era when the Earth did not exist. Photons are a kind of cosmic postal system and these light particles not only provide us with images, but also information about the composition, motion, and evolution of distant stars and galaxies. We see the universe as a vast ocean where every ray of light that reaches us is a messenger from another time. The light that reaches us from the most distant stars and galaxies has traveled unimaginably long distances for more than 13 billion years. That light shone when none of us existed, and the stars that emitted it have long since ceased to exist. Because light can travel through space and time for so long without appreciably changing, we can now look at regions and times that tell us about the universe's past. We can see about 46 billion light years in radius in all directions, which means that we have a view of a cosmic globe with a total diameter of about 92 billion light years. We never came close to finding the limit. We have to accept the fact that we can only see a small part of what is really there. We are already seeing spaces that our brains can barely imagine, and space is becoming more and more unpredictable. The expansion of the universe is comparable to the constant movement of ocean waves. We are constantly discovering new and surprising phenomena that challenge our imaginations and expand our understanding of the nature of the cosmos. The waves spread in all directions. We follow one wave, we leave the space of another, but we still try to find connections between these waves and phenomena through modest means. As galaxies move away from each other, space, which is already difficult to fathom, continues to expand. Thanks to the new James Webb Space Telescope, we now have a wider and deeper view of space than ever before. 
A telescopic lens is like a navigational instrument that helps us find our way through the potentially endless waters of the cosmic ocean. Imagine looking at the sea with an underwater telescope somewhere on the Pacific or Atlantic coast. We can see reefs, rocks, open water, and some islands in it. But how far into the potentially infinite ocean can we really see with any man? Made technology. We may be able to describe the wonders of this ocean in one paragraph, but to penetrate all the seas of this world at once is almost as impossible as the complete exploration of space. We only know the size and true extent of our world and oceans because once we began to travel around the world and see it with our own eyes, we have known about new worlds, continents, sea routes, and the shape of our world since Columbus. One day, when we can travel through space and see it with our own eyes, we will learn more about what is really out there, how big it is, whether there is still life, and what the true nature of our universe is. Until then, we can only speculate and try to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Everything seemed unified, at least for the moment. We had an established understanding of the universe that began with the Big Bang, followed by an inflationary phase, a rapid expansion. The first aggregates of matter were created and worked by forces that we can describe scientifically today, but whose real strength and power still seem difficult to grasp. Imagine the formation of stars in disks of dust, the glowing hot fireball that has provided the star system with light and heat for billions of years consists of nothing but fine dust and little gas. The strong forces cause rotations that are so strong that the dust condenses and heats up. At some point, a star will form in the center of such a disk of dust, where fusion processes will take place, surpassing thousands of our nuclear power plants on Earth. There are countless such stars in the universe, and new ones are constantly being born as old stars break up and eject their components into the universe as supernovae, which can form new stars. Trillions of galaxies perform a seemingly endless cosmic dance. Some of them gather in groups that we can barely comprehend with our minds. These clusters, in turn, form even larger collections, and perhaps we have not yet reached the largest structures in the cosmos. Thanks to constantly developing technologies, we can get an even more accurate picture of the universe. We see more and more, but at the same time we face more and more questions. We still don't know who or what created it all, or how this symphony of chaos and beauty is held together and coordinated. Our calculations are based on concepts like dark matter and dark energy, and in particle accelerators like the Lake Sea in Geneva, we try to observe the building blocks of matter. The answers to what everything is, where it comes from, and how it works, must be found somewhere. The James Webb Space Telescope is thought to have been a milestone in the exploration of the universe. The researchers hope to gain insight into the period immediately following the Dark Ages. They hoped for confirmation of their theories and discovery of new phenomena. But what they have seen so far are facts completely different from what they expected. Perhaps we are now at a point similar to Columbus or Galileo Galilei. These pioneers of science, exploration, and adventure discovered things previously thought impossible. We humans are fascinating. We use every possible source to learn more about our origins, life, and the cosmos. Driven by countless questions and curiosity, we discover more and more. We are constantly developing new research methods data sources, and ways to get new information from them. Cosmic microwaves are part of the cosmic microwave background light, which is seen as a kind of consequence of the Big Bang and which permeates all space. This microwave light is a silent witness to the birth of the universe, and thus an important tool for astrophysicists to understand the evolution of the universe over billions of years. The light we see today as the cosmic microwave background began its journey about 13.5 billion years ago, only about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe finally became transparent enough 
to let light through. It offers an almost unchanged snapshot of that time. One could almost say that the events of that time are forever frozen in this radiation, waiting for us to interpret them. By carefully analyzing this light, scientists have mapped the large-scale structure of the universe, detected differences in temperature and density of the early cosmos, and refined theories about matter, energy, and the dynamics of the universe. However, radiation still offers new fields of information, leaves room for various interpretations, and surprises us. Recently, scientists have found evidence of universe in this universal matrix from which our own cosmos may have originated. This may also be the first indication of a multiverse, which is again beyond what we know. Neutrinos are another source of information that we use to study distant events in space. These are often called ghost particles and are another source of valuable information. These small, almost massless particles hardly interact with normal matter, so they pass through planets, stars, and galaxies without leaving a trace. They are created in the nuclear reactions of stars, the fusion of giant black holes or supernova explosions. They then migrate in great numbers and eventually reach our relatively new detectors as cosmic messengers. Neutrino studies are one of the newest methods we use to uncover the secrets of the universe. Deep in the Antarctic ice or in protected underground tanks, very sensitive measuring equipment collects and analyzes these volatile particles. The study of neutrinos brings us very close to the events that take place inside distant stars in almost real time, or tells us about the fundamental forces that shape the universe. 